Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that um, maybe, um, and, and you know, it's not just with updates, but with a lot of software, we talk about things running in the background. And of course, sometimes it might say things running in the foreground. And what's the difference? What does it mean exactly? What's running in the foreground or background? So in this case, the question comes from updates because I did the video with the, um, you know, limiting the bandwidth of the updates and so on. And one of the things that it says is the background, foreground. And of course, this applies to not just updates. It applies to all software we use. We can have software that runs in the background and we have software that runs in the foreground. So an example here, I am actually doing a screen recording. And that screen recording, while I'm actually doing something else or running other software, is technically happening in the background. Why? Why do we call it the background? Because it's not visible on the whole screen. It's not something you're looking at that you see it happening. You only have a little indication by an icon on the bottom right, but you don't really know. And if you have full screen apps, you actually don't even see the icon. So that means that the whatever the screen recorder is doing, it's doing it in the background while I'm doing something else. So Windows updates is the same thing. When we talk about updates in the background, it's simply that it's happening and you're doing something else. So you might be on the internet, you might be doing a Zoom meeting or Skype, you might be just you know using playing games and the updates are actually doing what they have to do to update your machine. So you don't notice them, you don't know what's happening. That's what we call in the background. So they're downloading in the background without you not noticing anything. They're installing themselves without you noticing anything. It's all happening in the background. But if you actually trigger a Windows update yourself by going to the settings and then going to the updates and security and checking updates and making it happen live as you are watching the, the screen and leaving that Windows Update window there, this is what we call the foreground. It means you're actually triggering it, you're using it, you're seeing what's happening. So usually in the foreground means that you actually are working with that. You want to do it. It's something you're using. In the background, it's a process, something happening without you even noticing that it's actually doing something. In Windows, most of what's happening is a mix of foreground and background processes. So while you're using Windows, you don't see it, but there are dozens and dozens of things happening in the background. You don't notice it, you don't know it's happening. You can actually check if it's happening with different means in the control panel and so on, but task manager also but you just don't know, you don't see what's happening. And that's all background stuff. You just don't see it. So background, anything that the computer's doing without you even knowing about it is usually background stuff. If you're using the software, if you're triggering a Windows update and looking at the screen, you're actually doing it in the foreground. You're actually looking at it, you, had, you triggered it, you downloaded, you are the doing the actions, so it's happening in the foreground. You have decided to use it. So same with all the software. Um, an example of software that is in the background, most of the time, an antivirus. So if you look at Windows Security, it, you know it might do, start a scan and check for viruses on your PC while you're doing something else. Well, that's happening in the background. But if you go and click on the Windows Security app, and you decide that you want to trigger a quick scan or a scan, then now this, while you're watching it, while the software is open and full screen, is what's happening in the foreground. So I hope that this clears up the difference between background and foreground when we talk about apps and, and processes in computers. And this is not unique to Windows. It's every operating system. Linux, Mac OS, Android, uh, and so on. They all have background processes that you just don't know it's happening. And there's foreground processes, the things that you're actually looking at and, and using. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.